the two guys, the two guys, well, the biggest puncher, I feel, at, at the 135 will probably be Javante Tank Davis. Mm -hmm. But the most skillful fighter, skillful fighter at 135 will be hands down Shakur Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 Floyd Mayweather. One of the greatest fighters of all time. He one of the biggest haters of all time, bro. We're going to go live on this shit tonight, but this is funny. This is funny, bro. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm also live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday morning is 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And um, I ask that you join the channel as a member, drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams and videos that we do. And hit me up if you want to debate. The email address is knockoutbox86 at yahoo.com. Or you can just come by the channel when I'm live and we can get it cracking right in there. Look, bro, so Floyd Money Mayweather says that Javante Tank Davis is probably the biggest puncher um, in the lightweight division, and that Shakur Stevens is the most skilled fighter at 135 uh, pounds. This man a hater, bro. He a hater, and 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 I don't know if this shit is fake between Tank and Floyd anymore, but we'll find out. We we gonna find out soon. Enough. I'm still skeptical, but the shit they saying about each other and the way that they're behaving towards each other, you can you can't trust that it's real. But it's starting to feel more and more real. And listen, if you a Shakur Stevenson fan watching this video, I ain't got no problem with you thinking that Shakur Stevenson is more skilled. Like you supposed to ride for your guy, but. What I would tell Shakur Stevens, because Shakur Stevenson love to hear this shit. You know what I'm saying? He he got the smoke emoji. Like, yeah, smoke. He say, I'm most skillful. I'm the most skillful fighter at 135 pounds. Bro, Floyd couldn't even say your name correctly, dog. <laughs> Floyd didn't even put the sun at the end of your name, bro. He just hating on Tank. like. And I'm about to break down why Shakur Stevenson ain't nowhere near as skilled as Tank Davis, but... He knew he said tank name correctly, and Stevenson is not that hard to say. <laughs> that boy said, and the most skillful fighter is probably Shakur Stevens. He didn't even take the night time to make sure he pronounced your name correctly, bro. And you just letting him use your ass. You letting him so here's what Shakur Stevenson is doing, bro. He's doing the same shit Ryan Garcia did. And the same shit Devin Haney did. And he's allowing Floyd Mayweather and Tank Davis to use his name to promote them. Or use him to help big up Tank. Like, dog, he's promoting Tank. And you don't even know it. And he hating on Tank. And he don't even know he promoting him at the same time. This shit is just weird, bro. You over here, big, yeah, that's right. Smoke emoji. That's the goat right there saying I'm more skilled. But he, he can't even say your name right, bro. And y'all be like, oh, no, I got to come my man. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Anyone that can take the name, take the, anybody that won't take the time to try to say your name correctly, bro, I ain't got no respect for you for real. <laughs> that boy gave Tank his full nickname. Probably the hardest puncher, Javante Tank Davis. And the most skillful fighter is Shakur Stevens. Shakur Stevens is the most skilled. So that, that shit was funny to me, bro. Like, that boy Petty, that boy, he he do not want Tank to be in his bag the way he in his bag, bro. He really don't. But let's break down what he actually said, bro. There is no evidence to me to support that Shakur Stevenson is more skilled than Javante Tank Davis. Honestly, quite the contrary, bro. I don't know what people be looking at. Ring IQ, the shit not close. The shit is not close. Tank Davis sets people up and, and for kill shots and sets people up in ways that Shakur Stevenson could, could only dream of, bro. And Shakur Stevenson, to me, his defense is overrated. I think he's a, de a very good defensive fighter, but... He defense in boxing is a is 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 about can you turn that defense to offense? 
can you be explosive? And to me, Shakur Stevenson is not near the counterpuncher that Javante Tank Davis is. He's not in his transition from defense to offense with his feet, with his head movement, slipping shots, and then being able to counter. Bro, it's not nearly as explosive or dangerous as Javante Tank Davis. Tank Davis's defense is highly underrated because his defense is dangerous. And part of the defense is when people get when people get through on your shit, can you still hold your form? Can you still fight? And Shakur Stevenson, if you starting to get through on his shit, he going to run around the ring on your ass. Tank Davis' defense, he going to always make sure I'm going to be there. I'm going to be defensively responsible, but I'll put myself in a little bit more harm's way to make sure that you know I'm thumping your ass. So, to me, it's about a matter of preference. And as a fight fan, I would go with Tank Davis' defense over Shakur Stevenson for this reason and this reason alone. It's like watching football. Do you want the defense that can just hold you to field goals and keep you and keep you, you know what I mean, honest, but don't get no turnovers? Or do you want the defense that might let you score a touchdown, but they're gonna turn the ball over, they're gonna get interceptions, they're gonna get pick sixes, they're gonna return fumbles for touchdowns and shit. Do you want a defense that's just going to keep the other offense from scoring? Or do you want a defense that's going to not only keep the offense from scoring, but also go score their own touchdown? Go score their own points. That's when you get the type of defense that Tank Davis showed with Leo Santa Cruz. Slip your ship up a cup, you're going to sleep. I prefer that type of defense, bro. Over to just step back, step back, step back, don't hit, step back, step back, step back, don't hit me. I prefer that. I prefer the slip uppercut to the body, that type of defense that put Mario Barrios on the motherfucking ground and was the beginning of the end for him in that 10th or 11th round against Mario Barrios. To me, that's a more effective defense. So the one thing that you could say Shakur got over Tank, oh, he's the least hit fighter in the sport and all that. Yeah, take your little, what, what do you got? Maybe like 8% on Tank? Because I looked at the shit on Coffee Bunch, Tank, Tank, it's like top 15 in defense. Like people connect on about like 18% of their they punches. Shakur is like somewhere around seven or eight. So 10%, 10%. But what that extra 10% give me, Tank Davis is also the most accurate punch, power puncher in boxing. And the shit is explosive and deadly. Yeah, I, I'll take, I'll take that. I'll take that defense because it's more explosive. Then when you start getting into the angles, the footwork, the durability of the chin, the fighting style, the heart, the dog that people fight with, the power, like the ring IQ, like it's not close, bro. I don't know what Floyd Mayweather is doing other than just hating. There's no, when you watch their fights, bro, there's nothing that Shakur Stevenson has done that you haven't seen Tank Davis do. And then Tank Davis has done plenty of shit that you've never seen Shakur Stevenson do in your life, bro. So I don't know where this shit come from. I don't know. I don't know why this shit is 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 being said. Diehard Shakur fans, I understand. Ride with your guy, but just as an analyst, bro, as an outside observer, regardless of the fight fact, if I like Tank or I like Shakur, whoever you like, bro, Tank has shown more in the ring against better competition. Wake me up when Shakur Stevenson take the jab away from a six foot tall motherfucker, bro. Like, wake me up, bro. Wake, wake me up when that shit happen, man. Wake me up when Shakur Stevenson take the, the, the explosive, fast-ass, powerful-ass left hook away from, from, from somebody like Ryan Garcia. Like, bro, they, it's not the same. It's different. It's different to take Oscar Valdez left hook away than Ryan Garcia left hook away, bro. It's, a different, it's different levels of shit, bro. Like, I don't know what the fuck dudes be looking at, man. But y'all will find out because they going to fight. And y'all will find out, bro. But I think... Floyd Mayweather is dead ass wrong based off of what we can, what we've seen as fight fans and analysts, the shit we've seen with our eyes, what skill has Shakur exhibited more in the ring than tank? He's more cautious. He takes less chances. Now you tell me a big ass fight that you've seen where where two fighters fighting at the top level where a motherfucker ain't got to take some chances. Mons anyway put on a great performance against Cool Boy Steph. He had to take chances. He had to he had to be able, be willing to say I can out jab this motherfucker even though he longer than me. He supposed to be fast. He supposed to be slick. I'm gonna jump in here with that jab. 
Terrence Crawford had to take risk against Earl Spence. I'ma switch Southpaw the whole motherfucking fight and I'ma time his ass and I'ma out jab this nigga. Y'all think this nigga jab is hitting on something? Let me show you something. Hold my motherfucking beer right quick. And he went in there and he fucking put on a phenomenal performance, bro. What has Shakur done, bro? He ain't never fought at any disadvantage. He been bigger than everybody ever fought. Longer than everybody ever fought. Naturally bigger. The man was 150 pounds cutting a featherweight, dog. He was 150 to 155 pounds cutting the junior featherweight. I mean, junior lightweight. And now he at lightweight, walking around 155 to 160, cutting down to 135, bro. Stop playing, dog. That boy, that boy big out there. It's easy when you when you fighting smaller guys. And then the one time he fought somebody his size, how he looking there with Edwin? Oh, he only had one hand. He was hurt. KO, his trainer was telling him to throw that bitch, though. But well, let's go with the hurt shit. Let's go with the hurt shit. What was a better performance? Tank Davis's hurt hand performance against Pitbull or Shakur Stevenson's hurt hand performance against Edwin? Somebody let me know in the comments. You know, the Pitbull that's a 140-pound champion right now. You know what Tank did to Mario Barrios, who's the 147-pound champion right now. You know... The Pedraza that became champion again after Tank Davis stopped him and was the only person to stop him until earlier this year. Come on, bro. Come on, this skill shit. It is a wide gap. And the gap is in a, in a different direction than what a lot of y'all think. Because for y'all, for, for the way that Shakur Stevenson fights and the way that he goes about his work, he's a front runner, bro. He allows the threat of someone to change the way that he fights. If you threaten him like Nakathila, he fights differently. If you threaten him like Valdez, he fights differently. I see a lot of Shakur fans saying that was a master class performance or he looked great against Oscar Valdez. No, he didn't. He was on his back foot way too fucking much. He was the bigger man. Valdez clearly couldn't do nothing with him. He could have did Valdez worse than he did Jamel Heron, but his mind was this motherfucker could punch. So I'm just gonna stay cautious. That's a fucking flaw. Some, that's a motherfucking flaw, bro. Fuck y'all think Tank Davis do to Oscar Valdez. Floyd is making the same mistake that a lot of y'all making. That is this right here. Oh, he got power. You missed the hand speed. He got way better hand speed than Shakur. Shit not close. You missed the, you missed the ring IQ. You missed the timing. You missed the, you missed the defensive prowess when he want to have it. And you miss the fact that fuck all this shit that, that all these people tell you about this skill, that skill. Watch both of them fight and tell me something you've seen Shakur Stevenson pull out that you haven't seen Tank Davis pull out. Then I will tell you a million things. That's being hyperbolic. But I'll tell you a ton of things that Tank Davis has been able to pull out of his bag and skills that he has showed that Shakur Stevenson has not showed, bro. Them, them, them. Them, them, slip, them slip combinations that he was throwing against Hector when Hector was trying to throw that brick can when Hector would throw his one-two. Tank would duck up underneath it. Then he would go uppercut to the body, left hand over the top, right hook. Go show me Shakur doing shit like that, bro. Show, show me Shakur doing shit like that. Please, bro. Show me Shakur taking his back foot, walking back, slipping the shot, throwing the left hook at the same time that somebody throwing their they, they left hook, getting that bitch there first and knocking their ass out like Tank did Roger Romero. Go show me the film of that shit. Show me Shakur doing somebody the way Tank Davis did Leo Santa Cruz, bro. Like, what the, like what the fuck are we talking? Show me, show me him slipping the shot. And having the perfect time and of throwing the uppercut while I'm slipping that bitch and catching the motherfucker on the button and having them out before they hit their motherfucking feet. That ain't got shit to do with power. That's timing, that's speed, and that's recognition of the combination the motherfucker is throwing. Those are skills, people. Where can I go find Shakur Stevenson doing these things, bro? Where can I find? Show me him ducking under the, a fast-ass left hook from a fast-handed fighter in Ryan Garcia and firing up an uppercut with perfect motherfucking timing and catching them right on the button with perfect fucking accuracy and knocking a motherfucker halfway across the ring. Again, that is timing, that is punch recognition, that is ring IQ, and that is punch accuracy. Go show me video where I can be like, okay, yeah, Shakur did do that. Bro, I can talk to you about a ton of things from a skills perspective 
that Tank Davis has done in the ring that I've never seen Shakur Stevenson do, bro. Go look at the combinations and the jabs that Tank Davis was hitting Pedraza with in that fight. When he was when he was shotgun jabbing his motherfucking ear off his head in that whole goddamn fight. Go show me Shakur Stevenson shotgun jab footage. Where is that, bro? Go show me his shotgun jab footage. And then after you get done showing showing me that, show me his show me his stab jab down to the body that had Pedraza reeling to the ropes. And then when you get inside on him, you lean on him and you throw an uppercut hook combinations and they land in flush at will. And then you read the motherfucker so good, you got your whole right hook lined up because you waiting on his head to come back up because you know you done framed him and put him right where you want him to be. And right when that chin come up, you throw a right hook and knock his ass through the ropes. Go show, go show me Shakur doing that shit, bro. And I'll shut up about this skill shit. But until you can show me him demonstrating those skills in live action against world-class fighters and champions, and Hall of Famers, bro. Miss me with the skill talk. Miss me with the skill talk, bro. This shit ain't close. All you got is because you think so. But there's nothing that young man has put on film. There's nothing he's put on film that would lead you to believe that he's more skilled than Javante Tank Davis. Somebody prove me wrong. I'll talk about it again tonight on the live stream. I'll see y'all soon. Peace out.